Hi, I'm Simon. Today we're going to show you how to test and replace the gas valve on your LG dryer. If you are experiencing issues like your dryer not heating, taking too long to dry, it might be time to check or replace this part. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful appliance repair guides. Let's get this fixed together. With over 2 million products in stock and the know-how to help you to do it yourself, we are AppliancePartsPros.com. For this job, we're going to need the uh, power tool with the uh, Phillips bead, a uh, shorter Phillips screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, a super short Phillips screwdriver, the adjustable wrench. We need the uh, Teflon tape, yellow color for the gas, a multimeter and a vacuum cleaner. The gas valve is located near the bottom of this dryer on the right. There are several different reasons why the gas valve may cause no heat condition. The control coils get weak and work only in the beginning of the cycle, shutting down prematurely or if the membrane sticks. Also, if one of the coils burn out, the valve won't open at all. In any case, the gas valve won't stay open long enough to provide required the safest way to check the gas valve is to take out three Phillips screws from the back of the dryer stop and slide it out. Then turn the dryer on for time dry, normal heat, and dim the room lights. Within a minute, you should see the red light glow under the drum in the front right corner. That's the igniter getting hot. After it gets really hot, the gas valve opens, gas ignites, and the igniter shuts off. If there is no flame, the igniter and the flame sensor cools down and the cycle repeats. That is the sign of bad control coils or sticking valve. In both cases, the gas valve needs to be replaced. Oh, and just in case, check if the gas shuttle valve behind the dryer is open. If gas won't ignite, you can run a resistant test of the gas valve coils as a second test. For that, we need to get to the main PCB. Unplug the dryer and turn the gas off. With the top panel removed, locate the PCB housing mounted in the center. Remove two Phillips screws to free the housing. Using the flat blade screwdriver, undo the tabs and open the cover. Locate the blue three-wire connector BL3 and disconnect it. Set your multimeter to resistance, horseshoe-like sign, to K ohms. Touch the red and pink wires and then red and white wires. In both instances, you should read 1.5 to 2.5 kilo ohms. If the resistance is off or no continuity, replace the gas valve assembly. Move to the front and pull the water tank drawer on the left and remove the water tank. Using the flat blade screwdriver, press the locking tab up from underneath the drawer and take it out. Using a Phillips screwdriver, remove two screws, one on each side of the drawer opening. Move to the right corner and remove one more Phillips screws from the back of the control panel. Disconnect control board plugs, pull on the top and remove the control panel. Open the door and remove four Phillips screws, two at the top and two at the bottom. Next, remove top Phillips screws that hold the front panel. Use a flat blade screwdriver to release the catch on the top right and tilt the front panel for about an inch. Disconnect the white and the pink plugs from the door switch and the light and remove the front panel. From here, you can go two different ways. Replace the gas valve without any further disassembly, not being able to clean and vacuum the entire dryer or continue taking it apart and do the complete maintenance. I recommend the latter. Remove four Phillips screws from the top of the front bracket and take the bracket away. Get down and disconnect the sensor plug on the right. Next step is to take out two Phillips screws on each side, lift up and remove the front bulkhead. I recommend wearing gloves for the next step. Don't get shy, get on your fore and reach under the drum from both sides. Push up the idler pulley and remove the belt of the motor pulley, pull on the belt and slide the drum out of the cabinet. You may clean the dryer using a vacuum cleaner Carefully not to break the igniter, clean the lint out. Get to the rear and clean the duct pipe. 
if you are not satisfied with two tests we run, you can do the third one at the coils terminal. Using the flat blade screwdriver, remove the plugs from the valve coils. Set your meter to kilo ohms and touch both probes to the coil terminals. The normal resistance value should be between 1.5 and 2.5 k ohms. If it's out of range or zero ohms, replace the gas valve. To test the second coil, simply repeat the procedure. Using the Phillips screwdriver, remove two screws on the top right side of the valve and disconnect the gas manifold. Take out two more Phillips screws on the left side of the valve. Next, using the short Phillips screwdriver, remove the screw from the bottom of the mounting bracket. Slide the gas valve out and then using the adjustable wrench, unscrew the orifice. This is the old gas valve assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. Peel off two pieces of tape, then place a yellow Teflon tape on the uh, orifice threads and then install the orifice into the gas valve. Tighten it with the uh, adjustable wrench. Slide the gas valve into the place, insert the manifold in and secure it with two Phillips screws. Align the holes and install two Phillips screws on the left side. Using the short Phillips screwdriver, secure the third screw from the bottom. Reconnect the coil plugs. Don't get lazy, we still need to put it all together so it can be called a dryer again. Place the belt on the drum with the ribs inside. Install the drum inside, make sure that the rear edge is on the three rollers. Place the gloves on and dive under the drum. Loop the belt over the idler pulley, push the idler pulley up and install the loop over the motor pulley. Slowly turn the drum one full turn manually to check the belt position. Bring and install the front bulkhead. Make sure all support rollers are under the drum. Lock the front bulkhead into four pilot holes on the sides and secure the bulkhead with the four Phillips screws. Install the top front bracket. Lock in the side hooks and secure everything with four Phillips screws, the longer ones on the sides of the cabinet. Get done and connect the sensor plug on the right. Bring the front panel, install it on the bottom hinges, tilt it forward, reconnect the white and the pink plugs. Using the flat blade screwdriver, lift the catch on the right upper corner and secure the front panel with four Phillips screws. Open the door and install two Phillips screws at the bottom and two Phillips screws at the top. Install the lint filter. Mount the control panel. Install two Phillips screws on the sides of the dispenser drawer opening and one more from back in the right corner. Connect all the plugs. Install the top panel. Push it forward to lock and secure with three Phillips screws from the back. Install the water tank drawer in. Lift the tab with the flat dress screwdriver and push it in. Place the water tank inside the drawer and slide the drawer in. Plug the drawer in and don't forget to open the gas. Great job tackling the gas valve assembly. We hope this video made your dry repair process smoother and more effective. If you'd like to share your repair points, drop a comment below. We would love to hear about your success. Remember, if you need a new part, just grab your model number and visit appliancepartspros.com where most orders arrive within a couple of days. We are glad to be part of your repair team and we look forward to helping you with your future projects. See you next time.